Hi everybody, I'm back. No new project just yet, but I thought I would share something with you. Um, not the fact that I've got COVID, which is why I sound so funny, but during the uh, research for a new project, I realized that sometimes you just don't have a plan for a guitar that you can't get plans. Maybe it's a, a vintage instrument that's just not available. You can't physically even find the guitar. But if you have a photograph, there is a way I've discovered that you can um, get a workable template from it by using uh, Adobe Illustrator and just knowing one dimension or even a dimension that you can probably guess. So see what you think. This is my method. So here I am in Adobe Illustrator. So we need to make a file new and we get this baffling menu pop up asking us all sorts of things but all we want to do is to set the width to say 20 inches because few guitar bodies are any bigger than that and the height to 14.5 because very few guitar bodies are bigger than 14 and a half inches and i'm using inches because it's a very common way of referring to um, guitars in terms of radius and things like that we do use inches quite a lot but um, you can work in millimeters if you feel more comfortable but i just know one dimension of this particular guitar and it happens to be in inches so i'm going to stick to the scale that will help me out later so here we go create a new project now we need to drag into the project a reference still there it is, and now I'm just going to position that and drag it up to a size where I think I can actually work on it with ease, something like that. Uh, I don't know whether that's anywhere near our target size, but I'm just going to put it in the middle of my workspace, the workspace being up to this line here. Okay, so we've now got effectively our reference in there. The next stage is the most uh, tricky. What we want to do is make sure that it's horizontal. So what I can do is I can actually draw something horizontal, move that down and see where I am. I can see that judging by this string here, it's not quite horizontal. So what I need to do is to rotate this a little bit until it is. And that looks pretty darn close. So I don't need that anymore, so I can delete that object. This is our reference image all set up. Okay, so now we need to start making our template. We do this by adding another layer using the add layer function, which is this little plus down here, and we have a new layer. Click that layer, I can turn off the reference image and we'll just work on that layer. So what I want to do now is literally go to this tool up here, the pen with a wiggly line, a curvature tool, and the curvature tool allows us to draw nice arcs around things and that works so well for guitar bodies. So let's click it and see what we can do. I'll start at the top, work down to there, and then every and what I'm going to do is just put points where the curve stops working, which is there in this case. I'm just going to move it down. I see a nice curve there to about there, that's fun. Yeah, that's all working. Uh, that's runs out about there that curve still working still working yep that'll do to there don't worry about the strange things going on with the box we haven't finished our curves yet let's do this okay that was working great i fudged this picture so that it was easier to trace just in photoshop i got rid of some extra detail and neck but you can see what i'm doing i'm just working around here uh, with the curve curvature tool and that gives us a really quite mm, yeah that's good don't worry about the things there it's, it's it's stopped working so well at one point there we can go back and sort that out it's really good at this sort of thing um, that curve looks good up to there don't want to go above there and there, there, whoops, and I'll join it up there. So then I can select the single selection tool here, the direct selection tool, and I'll now click on these points to make them active, and then I can just move them uh, and make them work. Even areas like this, I can pull areas down that don't actually have a control point on them and make them work like that. And you see really quite quickly, We've got quite a workable uh, template. Uh, this could do with pulling out a little 
here. That's good. Possibly here. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so we've managed to trace in a pretty decent way. We managed to trace the outline of this guitar. So we can turn off the, the tracing layer. And if I just select this object using the select tool here, I can just select this one object, go into properties here and uh, change the stroke. Um, the stroke currently is the sort of outline. The outline is black, but it doesn't have, it's only one point wide. So if we make that three points wide, you can now see we've got a very distinct outline which we can work with. So we need to apply our one real world dimension. So let's put in our dimension and I know that it's 14 inches from this point here to this point here, which I found written in a book that the body that at its widest point was 14 inches. So let's scale that to 14 inches. So I'll draw a rectangle and I'll make the height of it 14. So there we have now a reference object that I know is 14. Go back to the single selection, move it over to here. And then all I need to do is to make the rest of this guitar 14. And that will be therefore the real world size of this object. So if I hold down shift so I don't change any aspects here, and I just nudge it using the cursor keys, we now have this dimension applied to the object in the drawing. And I can now delete that, and we have a template for a guitar that I don't have. So there you are, we have a model in uh, Adobe Illustrator. Next thing to do, print it out. Obviously you want to print it out one-to-one, -one. you don't want to rescale it to a single page of A4. That won't work, unless you want to make a very small guitar. Um, and then we'll, we'll get a patchwork version of that uh, design, sellotape it together, cut it out, put it on a piece of wood, trace around it, and then cut it out on your bandsaw. You know, that's it, you've got a template. So I hope that's been interesting, it's really simple. Um, I hope to see you soon with a new project. I think I may have given away what I'm going to make, but that could possibly change. Hope you enjoy the method and um, don't get COVID and I hope to see you soon.